women. In 1920, women in America were given the right to vote and following this, they began to play a more active role within the American economy as both consumers and workers. The 1920s were a much more prosperous generation for the United States and women were well placed to enjoy that prosperity. During the Great Depression of the 1930s, however, the idea that women should adopt a more traditional role became more popular. In the depressed economy, working women would often be seen as stealing jobs from men who needed to support their families, though the women would earn significantly less than a man doing the same job. The story is essentially about two men, George and Lenny. It is a story about the life they lead and the people they encounter. It is a life that is predominantly occupied by men. As many people and critics have noted, Steinbeck's portrayal and presentation of women is often very negative. However, we should take care not to brand Steinbeck as chauvinistic or anti-women in the same way that it would be unfair to call him racist. What seems important, however, is how the male characters treat, respond and refer to the women they do encounter. In this way, Steinbeck is as damning of many of his male characters as he is in his unflattering representations of women and female characters. It is significant that the ranch is a place devoid of positive female characters as this serves to highlight the emptiness of the men's lives. There are no loving wives, no caring mothers. As they have no wives, the men turn to the girls at Susie's cat house. Well, a guy gotta have some fun sometime. Prostitution, like racism, seems to be accepted and acceptable, and the men fail to think about anything other than their own needs. At the same time, it also serves to highlight the fact that the men, because of the nature of their work, are unable to form lasting relationships. It also emphasises too the impact of the economic crisis on the girls and women. The suggestion is that the girls or women have been forced in desperation to turn to prostitution. The fact that there are two brothels across the street from one another is also telling. Prostitution seems to be one area where business continues unaffected by the depression. George tells Slim that when Lenny was younger, his Aunt Clara cared for him. This is the nearest that the novella comes to presenting a positive maternal female figure. However, the fact that she does not feature directly in the novel is again effective in highlighting the sacrifices and struggles that the men have to make. It is George who assumes the role of parent to Lenny but it is not always done with the same kindness and compassion that Lenny's Aunt Clara gave. The only woman on the ranch is Curly's wife, who is not, on the surface, afforded much sympathy. She is very young and recently married. Therefore, she does not work. It is noticeable that, in a desperation for company, and to escape that 2 by 4 house, she is always entering the men-only zones on the ranch. Based on Steinbeck's descriptions of her, she is clearly more concerned with perfecting her appearance than with fulfilling her role as a wife and housewife. That said, we do come to understand her plight, which is similar to that of many of the male characters, 